Hey yo, what is good everybody? It's your boy Clouds. Welcome back to another potato video. Today we're going to be talking about how to research an NFT project. Now this can involve ETH projects and Solana projects. I'm going to be specifically talking about Solana. But yeah, man, that's basically it. I'm not here to waste nobody's time. Let's get straight into the video. Hit that like, subscribe button and follow me on my Twitter. It's right there in front of your goddamn face. All right, man. So first thing is first, how do you research an NFT project, Clouds? What does this mean? People always say, do your own research. Now, what does that mean? How do I do that? Because, you know, I'm a potato and I want to know step by step well first and foremost you want to go on twitter and that's where you're going to find basically any good project any big project does not matter what project you're looking for you always will need to do research on anything you're looking at so i'm going to be using trip and ape tribe as a pretty much example here so let's say you find this project all right let's pretend this is a different project you find this project you want to see everything that they have already for you of course this one's already minted but if it has not minted already just look for it but you want to make sure if they have of course a link tree or anything that they have their whole website links combined together as you can see this one right here very well organized so they have a website twitter valhalla labs twitter discord and instagram now this is very helpful because if they actually combine every link for you already right here and this one actually looks stupid nice like i don't know how much they pay for it but it looks nice so if you're looking for a project that does not have any information yet it might not even have a website nor discord but you want to try to do any research you can possible so let's say they did not even have a website nor like discord there's not really research you could do right all you know is you can follow them you can check their only post see if it's like botted by checking their likes making sure that it's not a whole bunch of bots trying to just like it or retweet it check the comments is anybody commenting real stuff check out the followers and see if anybody that you follow follows them because that helps out tremendously as well but let's say they do have a link tree or whatever the source that have all their links and they have a website first thing you will do is of course check the website before you even try to join their discord check out their website uh i would say their twitter as well but we already did that so here is trip and abe's website says enter the unknown okay it looks very nice this is where you're gonna have to see that they put enough effort into their own website for everybody to look at and see themselves so if you look at this you already know okay trip and ape tribe they did their thing on their website all right they put a lot of effort into this there's a lot of uh, details that you can check it out see right here you have the options to click on anything so we scroll down it's not a coat you even scroll way down and you have these boys chilling right here the apes and then you have a whole bunch of other ones just moving that is very detailed you love to see that you can tell that this was a lot of work and even if you're a web designer and, and you're like that's not even a lot of work or my fault okay my fault gee besides the point you look at it it's a really good website uh let's see does it have a lot of the information that we need to know if it has a lot of words i know y'all probably don't like reading uh but you're gonna need to do a lot of reading in the nft space so some of this stuff will include basically their lore some of its lore some of its roadmap some of it is because of their white paper you really got to read everything that they're providing for you so that you can see and get a feeling on what this project is about so you can see right here the lore of their art is just crazy like i'm looking at this and i'm already like tripping like low-key you got the principles okay you got community identity and innovation literally like i said anything they have on the website is a big big w you want to make sure to read through everything of course uh trip and a try does not have a roadmap but that's also where you're going to see a lot of nft space a lot of projects won't even have that much information but yet it's like super hype and everybody wants to buy it you kind of got to get in the way of how the space is moving everything moves really quickly some people don't even care about a roadmap no more some people don't care about any of that but what they do care about is the team so you want to scroll down and make sure that the team is actually doxed you know their names you know their socials now just because they're docs does not mean it could be a trash project and just because they're not docs doesn't mean it's going to be a good project so here's basically their docs team you can read about them they you love to see that where people talk about pretty much anything that they have in the business they show that they're docs and they they have all their names right there again like i said not every project is going to dox themselves but it's very important to see if that's a number one thing to look at you want to make sure you're trusting these people you want to see if they're actually legit and they're not just a dude in their basement trying to scam people so yeah don't be too crazy if you do not see a roadmap or if you don't see any white paper yet some of them bless you by giving it to you already really quickly some of them don't even show it at all so you really got to see and pinpoint if it's a good idea or a bad idea to invest now as we head back over to the twitter another thing to look at is their discord the discord is very important because sometimes the information is on there more than it is on their twitter or anywhere else so we make our way over to the twitter of course i own one of these so let's just pretend that you don't see any of this chat and stuff going on first thing you want to make your way over is to their left of course he was going to make you verify you want to check out any information that they have on here okay whether it's select roles whether it's major announcements you want to see their announcements see how many reactions they're getting on their announcements if it's a lot of them that's how you know they're pretty much doing good and their community is pretty striving for them so here we got 2k 1k reactions that's a lot for reactions on discord of course you can't look at the lore personally i don't really care for lore at all like i don't care if y'all made up a story about motherfucking apes tripping off of acid that's just my opinion but if you like lore go ahead and read that of course if you go to meet the disciples sometimes they already have their team docs on there which is really good it saves a lot of time for you to do research but another big thing is their facts now every 
server should have this a fact section where it tells you about the project a little bit more and it answers all the questions that you already probably have so it asks you what is the project okay what is the supply what is the mint so all you gotta do is go to the fact section and the project should already provide it for you if it does not either the project is really early on or they're just trying to hype it up first before they tell you the big news another big thing is actually checking out their chats okay now chats sometimes could be manipulated and it could be really botted now if it's a new upcoming project you're gonna see the chat going like crazy like literally you can't even see what anything is that is a good indicator okay that is also a good one and a bad one good thing is a lot of people are hyped for it they're trying to grind whitelist they're trying to see how they can get into this because it's gonna boom a bad thing is a lot of these people could be bots all right it'd be a lot of bots that are just trying to get their levels up and get a free whitelist by doing that so you got to be careful in what you're looking at make sure people are having a real organic conversations make sure they're not just saying i'm good how about you a good example i can use is great goats okay their channel is right now going crazy and uh, as you can see it says several people are typing that is how you know and it's a good indicator that okay people are hyped about this project but you also got to be careful okay you got to make sure a lot of these things are not botted so yeah now that you checked those basic little simple steps of it shows several people are typing that is really that's like really a good indicator and of course anything else by their announcements like i said check out their facts uh look at what they're posting on twitter see their, their twitter engagement as well as very important and if you want to be more certain go on twitter and see if anybody is actually talking about the project if nobody's talking about it and nobody follows them most likely they're bought it the hell out but if you're on twitter and you're seeing people actually talk about the project and it's not even out yet they're like hey yo anybody hyped about that project coming out that's really a good indicator right if you got the whole community talking about it that's really good to know yeah just make sure you follow a lot of people in the nft space make sure you're following the right people don't follow no people who are giving false information and sometimes you don't even know what false information is so uh, just be careful all in general now for example let's use oak paradise okay now we got oak paradise nothing really announced yet now mint date no mint price really no website like, if we check out their announcements uh, okay they're posting really cool stuff and their interactions are going pretty crazy which i'm gonna interact right there we got a lot of people in their oak cast which is probably like a voice chat so you got a lot of people just doing that listening to some music that's also a good indicator of a lot of people are actually into the music voice chats or they're even just chilling in there you want to check how the discord is laid out this is very new so sometimes a lot of the discords are going to look exactly like this with less information and more of just hype around it so yeah man that's basically every tip i can give you on how to research your nft projects now me of course i do research some stuff for you guys by making youtube videos doing top three like upcoming solana project i do my own research and then i provide it for you guys and let you know like hey this is not financial advice but i recommend you check this out and this is exactly what it means when people say do your own research something that's cool to me might not be cool to you and you might not be okay with it subscribe to the youtube channel man i'm gonna be providing a lot of videos for you guys all right if y'all have any recommendations that you want me to do comment it down below i'm gonna help anybody out and hey man if y'all want to join my private discord it's very exclusive hit me up in the dms let me know you're from the videos and i might recommend you okay i want to have real cool trustworthy people in this community we're almost at a thousand subscribers so please share this video and share all my information to your homeboys your friends your mama your grandma your grandma's grandma kiss you all on your forehead you guys go make that bread